Welcome back to Ulog 2012's The Director's Commentary, Part 2. Back to the classics. And like Ron was saying up at the beginning, if there's something that we really wanted to do with this reboot of the Ulog franchise, was we wanted to strip away all the other elements and bring it back to basics. We want to, to remember, we want our audience to embrace everything that made the Yule Log great in its simplicity, its warmth, its fire, and more than anything, its heart. When you're doing a project such as this, which is a, a remake of sort, you know, you, you want to stay true to, to the original. I mean, there's, there's, there's a definite cult following, and you don't want to offend those people or, or make them disinterested. You don't want to alienate your audience. No, no. You want them to jump on board, and but you also, at the same time, want to draw in newer audiences, people who may not have, have ever heard of or seen the original, so they're coming at it with fresh eyes. And that's a real challenge. You know, how do you, how do you bring something fresh and new that's going to excite people who, who, who are new to an experience such as this, but at the same time, keeping people interested who are fans of this, who have such high expectations of this. I mean, it's a lot of pressure. You really have to make sure you honor the universe that was set up with the initial film. And, you know, I think we really did it. You know, the first draft I did, I thought I was coming at it with a fresh, a fresh set of eyes. And uh, you know what? I gave it a little bit of time. I sat on it for another six months and, and didn't look at it. And you know what? I wasn't happy with the draft I turned in. And so I had to turn to some of the best screenwriters in town in an attempt to really make a unique feature. Yeah, I made some phone calls to some people, and uh, I was talking to, uh, to Lawrence Kasdan. He's an old, old buddy of mine. And um, I was like, you know, Lawrence, we have this, we have this script, and it, there's definitely something there. Would you mind taking a look at it? And of course, he was like, absolutely, you know, Ron. And, and, he, and, he, and he read it. And, to be honest, I was surprised at how few uh, notes he actually had for us. He was, you know, the idea was there. It just needed to be polished a little bit. And another interesting part was when we turned in one of our drafts into the studio, uh, the, the notes we were getting from them was, you know, this is good, we like it, but we want this log to have more of a personality. And that was a challenge, but, I, you know. I thought they were crazy. I mean, we're talking about a log, you know? Everyone knows Yule Log, okay? It's not like we're creating some character out of thin air, you know? This is a character that's been around for years. So it's not like they're unfamiliar with the character, you know? It's an iconic image. I mean, I mean the imagery of this kind of a project, you know, this is everybody, whether they, they, they know it by name or not, you know, they're familiar with it when they see it. I mean, they, they know what you're talking about. They do, and you know, we, we tried to pass the script around to you to see if we were missing something that we had missed in our first pass at it. Kevin Smith, uh, you know, he's a, he's a family friend, and we had him take a pass at it. And, you know, obviously it was a little bit more jokey, a little dirtier than what we ended up going with, but you know what, he was able to, to bring a new energy to the script that I know I didn't see when I first took on the project. Uh, a lot of it is just has a, because if you watch it, it's, there's a very comedic twist to it. But mm -hmm. one of the things I'm most proud of is is we have some comedy to kind of lighten it, but it's very subtle. In I mean, fact, I think we're coming up on a joke right here. <laughs> one of the signs of, of, of a joke being a great joke is the fact that you can hear it and see it over and over again, and it still makes you smile. I mean, that's going to be... I, I still quote that at parties. Oh, me too. Uh, and I can't tell you, I sat in editing, and I probably have seen this movie over 400 times, and you know what? It still gets me each and every time. I remember when we shot that on set, that was, that was the first take, and it was just like, well, it's not even, we're not even going to do this again. We, we got this moving on. Yeah, we didn't even check the gate. It was, it was, we knew we had gold. And this concludes part two of Yule Log 2012's Director's Commentary.